In this problem, we have uh, some data regarding a drive through restaurant. It says, if two orders are selected, find the probability that they are both from restaurant D. And then part A says, assume the selections are made with replacement. Are the events independent? Okay, so we want both orders to be from restaurant D. So let's write that down. So they're both from restaurant D. So if they're both from restaurant D, that means that the first one is from restaurant D, and the second one is also from restaurant D. So whenever you have two or more events, and we clearly have two because it says two orders, and there is the word and, um, we use the multiplication rule. So first we want the probability that the first one is from restaurant D. So the number of ways to pick an order from restaurant D goes up top. And what we do is we add up. So 139 plus 20 is 159. So there's 159 ways to pick an order from restaurant D. Divided by the number of ways to pick an order. So unfortunately, we have to add up all of these numbers. So I do have a calculator ready. Boom. So 328. So we're going to add up all the numbers to get the total. Plus 40 plus 260. So it's a bit of work, you know, adding up everything, but it's not, it's not so bad. It's not hard once you know how to do it. Plus 231, that's the secret. If you know how to do it, it's always easy. 139, if you don't know how to do it, it's impossible. So here we go. 1109, so 1109. So that's the total number of ways to get an order. order. So again, the probability of picking an order from restaurant D is the number of ways to pick an order from restaurant D, so 159, divided by the number of ways to pick an order. And the second one also has to come from restaurant D. However, they're made with replacement. That means we take an order, we look at it, and then we put it back. So we still have 159 ways to pick an order from restaurant D and 1,109 ways to pick an order. So it doesn't change because we put the order back. So putting this in the calculator, and now I can show you how to do that. So when you put it in, you can put it in just like it's written, 159 divided by 1109 times, and then again, the parentheses are important, 159. You could have just squared this quantity, but want to, to just keep it the same as you see it written down here. And it looks okay, let's hit enter. So 0 0.02, and how many decimals does it want? Um, um, oh, it doesn't, it doesn't, it wants four decimals. So 0 0.0206, 0 0.0206. All right, let's read what it wants here. Here, the probability of getting two orders from restaurant D is, okay, that's where it wants the answer. It's a little bit confusing the way it's worded sometimes. Oh, I can't hit enter yet. That's evil. <laughs> you have to pick everything before you hit enter. Okay. Uh, the events, well, the probabilities, um, they didn't change, right? So that means that the probabilities are independent. So the events are independent because choosing the first order does not affect the choice of the second order. So they really make you think about these about these choices here. You have to be really, really careful. Take your time when you're answering these, these follow-up questions. Let's try it. Yay, all right. And then it wants the same question, but without replacement. So without replacement, it's gonna be um, pretty much exactly the same, except uh, the answer will change. So it'll be 159 over 1109, that's the probability that the first one's from restaurant D. And so now you've already taken uh, an order from restaurant D out. So it goes down, it becomes 158. And then this will become 1108. So this here, this is the without replacement part, right? So you take an order out, so you're missing one. So you go from 159 to 158. Likewise, you go from 1109 to 1108. So let me type that in. So it's parentheses 159 divided by 1109 times, and then 158 divided by 
0.0208. Then enter. So 0 0.0204, I'm going to be careful here. So 0 0.0204. And these would not be independent events. These are dependent events. Okay, these are dependent events. So the probability is 0 0.0204. The events are not independent because choosing the first order does, so affects the choice of the second order. That should be okay. And that's it. So that took a lot of uh, thinking and brain power. Um, always just read questions carefully. Um, I hope that helped.